Hey guys, what is going on? It is Deboki here once again, and it is time for, yes, another Pillow Mints adventure. Today, I am going to be going through Choo Choo Island, which I am pretty pumped about because that is our next spot we need to get to. Yeah, it's Choo Choo Island! I remember when I tried out Fifth Job for the very first time, I think in the test servers, um, this was probably a few years ago, I came to Choo Choo Island, and I just thought it was the coolest place ever. Seeing all those pine deers and the rhinoceros turtles, I was pretty blown away. It was a lot of fun. Since we're here, we need to listen to Choo Choo's background music just once. Oh man, guys. So, funny thing about this song. I liked it so much that I made it my alarm for the morning. And now I do not like this song because every morning I still have it play and it wakes me up. Let me see if I can play it for you guys. This wakes me up every single morning. I mean, it's still a very cute song though, I gotta say. Oh, the anteater armadillo. What a mellow. Very special. Are we able to kill these mobs? I don't know if I have enough arcane power. I don't. Oh, okay. It's okay. Is it okay? We'll see how far we can get. If we really need to, we can bump our arcane up with the uh, the event shop. But I think we'll do okay. All oh, the pine deers. <laughs> All the pine deers. I'm still pretty impressed with Maple Story designers. Like whoever designed the mobs and the maps, the character designs, just everything. Very, very impressive work. I say that a lot, but just, you know, they have some really iconic monsters and still continue to come up with new mobs that are pretty incredible. Flying sharks out here though. Spicy hoofs, greasy bananas. I've been realizing um, a lot, a lot of stuff while I'm back at home. I think I touched on this uh, my, I think my first video of Pillow Mints, or maybe my second video, I'm not quite sure. And I've been talking about it a lot in my videos on just kind of what I've been needing in life for me personally. So I've been back at home for maybe, I would say, five months now. It hasn't been that long since I've been back. I tell you guys this quite a bit, but I'm relatively green. I haven't really gotten to experience a lot of things, and I've been coddled a lot in my life growing up. And, uh, you know, my family, my parents are very, very loving, loving parents, and I'm very fortunate to have them. I would say they spoiled me. You know, they spoiled me greatly while I was growing up. They wanted to protect me from a lot of the worldly things and the problems and issues. They didn't want me to worry about life, and they always wanted to provide everything for me, which was amazing, you know, which was great. But it also, it kind of sheltered me a lot from a lot of things, I think, growing up. And starting to realize that now that I'm getting older, of just things that... I kind of missed out on um, and not necessarily missed out on like oh like fun times and stuff like that but more so of growing times needing times like growing up and still now um, I do have pretty low self-esteem I would say and confidence you know that's something that I've been struggling with and I've been working on quite a bit trying to raise that and I had a, a really good talk with my mom about this was I lost a lot of confidence being back at home of course you know my mom was not very happy to hear that she was pretty sad you know like coming back home and you're losing confidence you're supposed to feel strong when you're back at home uh but when i, I told her oh man this is a really good rune here and, and i told her you know it's nothing about the way that you guys are treating me it's just how i'm treating myself now like i said i was very sheltered growing up like when i had to provide for myself and when i had to take care of myself and little things like getting things done it was i felt very powerful you know i felt like i was accomplishing things and i was like able to take care of myself and i was able to do stuff of course my parents just really want to spoil me in ways and you know do things for me cook meals and take care of everything for me right but I mean it's it's really awesome I get into this comfort mentality where just everything is like provided and now I'm not really doing anything for myself for me right now what I need is just really that that feeling of independence and taking care of myself and getting things done I, I just feel really good in accomplishing uh, when I do that and I explained it to her and she totally understood it was awesome to have this heart-to-heart -heart with my mom about about what is happening in my life, what I'm feeling and what I need. And I think I get that a lot from my mom. You know, she's a very wonderless type of person and she's very emotional too. Not so much my dad. You know, my dad, it's a little bit harder to 
portray feelings and my thoughts to him. I have to really tell my mom first and then she can explain it better to my dad. It's not because of a language barrier or anything because they can only speak English to each other since my dad is Chinese, my mom's Korean. Um, but it's just the way I guess my mom explains it. My dad kind of can understand it more. It was just really nice to kind of get these feelings out and just tell her, you know, why I've been feeling kind of weak and a little bit like down being back at home. You know, like, like I was saying, I had unfinished business back in Virginia and I think everyone has different needs. You know, some people, you guys out there has been really just learning that independence at an earlier stage. Some of you guys don't even need it. Some of you guys just built in. You guys can be in any environment and still feel that fulfillment. But for me, for some reason, when I'm in like a stage of comfort, right, like everything is taken care of for me and I'm a little too comfortable. I just, I can't grow. I start to degrow. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. I've been trying to figure things out a lot about that. I, I don't know all the answers, of course, but I think it's really beautiful to figure some things out and start putting together the pieces of life while, while we're living it. And I think things change, of course, you know, our needs and our goals, and it's always good to reevaluate ourselves periodically, you know, check up on yourself. Make sure that you're doing okay. I think it's just human nature to become very distant from people. And it's interesting because it's not just distant from others, but distant with ourselves as well. Because we think we know each other ourselves so well because we're just ourselves that we don't feel like we need to check up on e ourselves, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but I think it's very important that we do have routinely checkups and just see how we're doing, you know, like kind of reevaluate what what you are doing and how you're feeling so that's kind of what i've been doing and maybe i do it too much i remember my ex got really upset at me for always thinking really deep i guess i kind of like to look at things in a very deep way which i guess it can get kind of annoying right like if you're just trying to have a conversation or you're eating tater tots and all of a sudden i'm like you know these tater tots they resemble the darkness inside of us or so, I don't know something I don't I don't go that far but you know what I'm saying so I can see both sides on like when you just kind of want to have more of a light-hearted conversation or feelings but for some reason my mind I just I can't stop connecting the dots or finding dots to connect even though there are none but I just really enjoy to really think abstractly and outside of the box, I think. It gets me in trouble sometimes, for sure. Because, like, in general, I think my issue is also is, like, I'm a very dependable person. Like, I depend on people a lot, right? When I'm in a relationship, my parents, my friends, I think I'm very clingy. And it, I just need to learn how to not be that way. And I love being independent, though. But, like, when I'm in these situations, I start to get very clingy. And I start to get in a very, I wouldn't say toxic, but not healthy environment for myself. Because I need to learn how to be my own entity while still being surrounded by other people. Because I do believe that we do need people in our life. You know, we just can't live this life alone. We're humans. We need to be, we need to have others. We need to have times that we depend on other people. But I think for me right now, it gets to um, maybe a little bit too extreme. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a good balance yet. I think when I was alone, I was figuring out the balance a little bit better. I was realizing what was wrong at least when I was alone. Because my most recent relationship, it was um, it was pretty toxic. I'll say that. I'll maybe get into it a little bit later, but I don't know if I want to get into it now. Because <laughs> I've been talking a lot about, about life stuff. Guys, thank you for listening though. I, I really appreciate it. You know, seeing you guys like... In the comments just being able to relate and just giving me encouraging words i really appreciate it and it just it really does help me a lot i don't think you guys know how much you do help me being just listening to my thoughts and what is on my mind because you guys do inspire me to critical think more about life i hope i didn't bring down the mood too much this is choo choo island for crying out loud we're supposed to be having fun here come on now oh no i'm having a blast i'm having a blast yeah i'm struggling here a bit for sure just due to the fact that my arcane force is not strong enough i think we're brute forcing through it a bit finished so after i turn this quest in i think she's gonna probably send me to the turtles or maybe one of these chicklets are gonna be like yo go fight some catfish for me all right so the bamboo shop does have something kind of nice um, where we can go ahead and increase our arcane power by 30 for, I think, an hour? 
Which, yo, let's go. Well, we, we still don't have enough because we need 130 now and we're only 120. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. Well, these guys are really tough then. Oh man, the crunchy shells. Actually, these guys are going down nicely. Well, we did just pop all of our skills though. What is next? Is it the gorillas? Please tell me. Oh, it's the gorillas. It's the gorillas. Oh my gosh. Maybe we have the anchor here. This will help out. Get some of those monkeys together. Stop monkeying around. There it is. Oh, it's nasty. It thinks it's something? Oh, it ain't nothing. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we're making Muto the tastiest dish ever. All right, look at that. There's the sandwich of all of our collectings here. This is all of our hard work right there. All right, big boy. We got your food. So sad, but look at this big old sandwich. Oh, eating away. Happy old Muto. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video right here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You all are so wonderful. I appreciate all of you. This has been Deboki. Much love, one love. We'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.